Welcome back, everybody. We've got some news. Uh, remember a couple uh, videos ago, I took you on a tour through the Monte Cristo Lower Tunnel. And uh, yeah, we poked around some, found some interesting stuff. So let me recap and uh, show you the video segment that I'm interested in. So now we come into this area. This is stoped up about 20 feet. As a side note, after measuring it, I found out it was only 12 feet. And uh, the ceiling is all dark. Um, from what I can ascertain, there was some uh, wooden structure in here that they used to access the ceiling. But uh, in the 40s, when the government closed down the mines, they burned the wooden structure to uh, cause ash to cover up the quartz veins so that no one could come in and easily find where they were working. But uh, if you look close, I mean, you can see quartz textured material and in places where the black has come off, there's actually exposed quartz. That might be the vein from above. So we'll have to uh, build some scaffolding and get up there, maybe pressure wash the ceiling and uh, get some of this ash off here. One of my viewers by the name of Roland had a pressure washer that he didn't want anymore and he graciously donated it to the cause. Thank you very much. On the way back from picking it up, I came across this. A bunch of emergency vehicles. A, a hook and ladder in the mountains? Huh. Must be a coffee break or a donut party or something. Well, first things first, let's get this thing tested. We'll uh, see what we got here. It's got good compression. The recoil starter's a little rattly. But we at least know the pump isn't seized up or the engine blown. Let's check the fuel tank. This will tell me right away if it needs a carburetor rebuild. Sniff the uh, cork or the cap and it smells kind of lacquery so yeah I'll probably have to do a carb rebuild on this. No biggie. Well step two let's see if we get a spark. Need to have some electricity here. Yeah it doesn't look like it. Did you see anything? I didn't. Pull off the recoil and take a look at the uh, flywheel. It's got a lot of crud on it. The guy told me that it hadn't run for five years, so I didn't figure I'd get away scot-free. The coil looks good. Let's uh, pop off this flywheel and see if we got points on this system. Yeah, I'm that strong. Yeah. Okay, no points. That makes it easy. Oh yeah, we kind of got a flat tire here too. But it still looks good. Put some air in it. Yeah, I spent a few minutes picking out this uh, stuff here. Use a brush to try and brush it out. Fortunately, I didn't find any uh, mice or spiders in here. I hate when stuff jumps out at you. You would have heard me scream like a little girl. Well, after this, I cleaned out the carburetor, set a few Krishna mantras couple of Hail Marys. Let's see if it starts. <laughs> yeah, first pull. Okay, let's put some water to the pump and see what we get. Wow, yeah, 2400 PSI comes out pretty harsh. Let's see what damage we could do here to the ground. Yeah, that ought to clean off some rocks pretty well. Okay, numbskull, quit playing. Oh, you butts, you got schmutz on the land. Alright, let's load them on Billy the Wonder Tractor and get them up to the mine. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to put in some hosing here. This is our inlet hose. We have to go down to down the hill a little bit to our faucet. Then uh, from the hill side, we got to come up to the front of the mine, and then from the front of the mine, we have to go all the way back to the generator room. Only 325 feet of hose, but with 90 psi of water pressure, I had no problem. Well, once we got our pressure washer back in the generator room and got the uh, inlet hose plumbed in, it was now time to run the pressure line. And that was only going to be a 200 foot run. Now, I was told by several people that anything over 50 feet, you're going to lose pressure and it's not going to work. But uh, I had no problems at all. All the way back in the back here, we have plenty of pressure. You know, when I was in college, I met this girl, and she was studying to be an uh, electronics engineer. And I thought, yeah, we could probably hit it off. And she told me, you know, when I'm around you, I feel real grounded. I said, oh, really? How's that? She says, I feel like I have zero potential. Ouch. So here's our magic wand. I got a couple of extensions so I can reach uh, 10 feet from the end of the wand out reach out and touch someone but it turns out that using both extensions uh, gives me a 10 foot reach and that was a bit too long so we just used one extension or 350 feet back in the mine apparently whatever so we're ready to rock and roll so this is what the uh, ceiling looked like before not very impressive Okay, we've got the generator and the uh, pressure pump running. Let's uh, test this booger out, see what it does. Uh, it sprays pretty well. This down here is calcite. I'm just testing to see if it'll take the calcite off. But it's, it's pretty thick. I think we're going to have to chip that off with a hammer. Now here I've moved over to... Uh, the material and you notice how the black soot is coming off and behind it is nice quartz. Hopefully it's got some gold in it. We we'll just keep on washing here. So here's a patch of quartz that I'd uh, pressure washed and there's actually some some shiny stuff in there. Hopefully it's gold and not pyrite. Uh, we're gonna have to come back here and sample this and see what we get looking pretty good well after running the pressure washer for about 10-15 minutes uh, I got some areas cleared off but it got really humid in there and foggy it was like a London fog I couldn't see 10 feet in front of me so I figured I'd better get out of there before uh, something uh, came out of the fog and grabbed me and killed me or something who knows just getting creepy go towards the light my son go towards the light so I figured it was time to put my brain to work so we put in some ventilation line uh, it blows air back through the tube into the cavity and then it exhausts out okay uh, seemed to work a bit got Robert here now he's on the stick and uh, doing some washing and now for the big reveal this is what we have before this was all black that is all quartz vein it's six to seven feet wide goes all the way across the ceiling and down on the walls so we have a strike that might actually turn out to be something if there's gold in it. If not, I'll just have a lot of crushed quartz to put in the bottom of a, fi of a fish tank. Now these pictures don't show too well, but uh, there's an incredible improvement here. I'm happy with it.
Well, that's it for this show. Bet you can't guess what we're going to be doing on the next video. Nope, we're going to be sampling that vein and we're going to see if we got some gold. So until then, see ya!